Welcome to another Cooking on the Block, and I'm Chef Ellie Espo. Today we're going to make a classic Roman dish, and it's spaghetti carbonara. Couldn't be easier. Look at the ingredients in front of me. All you need is a few of them, but they have to be good. And we're going to need to have on hand pancetta. And pancetta, see, it's a rolled, cured Italian bacon. It's not smoked, okay? And pancia, pancetta, pancia means pork belly, and that's where the uh, bacon comes from. All right. In Rome, they also use a product called guanciale. And what that is, is the hog's jowl or the peak's jowl. But, you know, I'm all out of peak's jowl today, all right? So we're, we're using pancetta. We also need to have on hand two really nice cheeses. And we're going to use a locatelli, which is a pecorino romano. And I also have parmigiana reggiana. Nice flat Italian parsley, coarsely chopped, coarsely black pepper cracked black pepper and we need eggs that's what's going to make our sauce creamy without adding the cream because there is no cream in carbonara it's beaten eggs okay and that's the little bit of the delicate part to this dish is that once we cook the pasta and we you know we add it to our saute pan and we have the pancetta in there we're going to add the eggs the raw eggs now and the hot pasta is going to cook without curdling, okay? You, the, the warmth of the pasta will cook the eggs enough so it's safe to eat. Okay, so I have in my pot going now, you know, lots of water for our spaghetti and it's highly salted, so that's going. And what we're gonna do now is in our saute pan, I have three tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of sweet butter, and I have four cloves of garlic, okay? And we're gonna get this going on the stove and we're just going to lightly saute our garlic till it's golden brown. You don't want to get it dark. And we're going to remove the garlic, all right, because we just want to perfume the olive oil and the butter. And then I'll show you another trick what we're going to do to the sauce, but we've got to get this going, and uh, it'll be a few minutes. Okay, our pancetta. I got it rendered down. It's starting to get crisp on the ends. That's what you want. See all that good juice in there? Uh, you know, the olive oil, the butter, and the fat coming off of the pancetta. That's what you want. The smell is amazing. Okay, now I want to reduce some white wine. And I have a homemade wine by my really good friend, Robert DeFilippis. And it's a 60% Thompson seedless and a Malvasia grape. Okay, and it's delicious. Here it is right here. So we're going to add that to our pan, and we're going to let it reduce for about two to three minutes. But in the meantime, I'm gonna cook our delicious imported uh, spaghetti, okay? And our water is rolling like mad, and we're gonna give it a stir, and we should be good to go. And we'll put this dish together in no time. Okay, my pasta's ready, and I'm taking it out with tongs because you want that starchy water clinging to your delicious spaghetti, okay? And it's my last little bit, and I got it in my saute pan with the pancetta and our white wine and the olive oil and the butter. Okay, so now we're gonna take it to here and we're gonna add all our other good ingredients, but I want you to see how I prepped the bowl because we're gonna mix, we're gonna get our pasta ready in our serving bowl Okay, now my serving bowl is warm. I have my beaten eggs. They're going into the serving bowl because once this is all mixed, it's going in here and we're going to toss the eggs. Okay, so that's why it was important to have everything lined up. Okay, so now we're going to eat lots of black cracked pepper. Ant likes that. But it is part of the dish. It's very important. We're going to add some sea salt. You know, pancetta is a little salty. It's not as salty as regular, you know, American bacon, but it does have its uh, saltiness. This smells amazing just like this. Look at that. You just get your tongue and you get all that, all the bits, see? You get all that worked in there real nice with the parsley. Oh, the smell. Unbelievable. Okay. Now for a cheese, 
Now, this dish is about the eggs and the cheese, so be generous. Okay. And I have some in here to top it off in a sec. Okay. Now, go for the gold here. All right. Woohoo! Tell me this isn't. There ain't nothing better than this. I know I keep saying that with all the dishes that I make, but I'm telling you, the smell, this is going to knock your socks off. See? Now you get the eggs. See, they're not cooked, but the heat of the pasta kind of thickens it a little bit. So it gets this creamy texture without having cream, right? Oh, my lord. Too bad there's not smell of vision See? Again, I want you to get a good picture of this. I want to show everybody. See how the, you could see the eggs on the bottom there? Made a little pool of sauce. That's exactly what you want. Okay, now, I'm going to hit it with some more black pepper. Some more cheese. it some more Italian parsley and my friends that's the dish bon appetito and that was another cooking on the block and I'm Chef Eliasco ciao